Hello everyone, my name is Dan the Tutor. Today I'm going over another essential skills video before you take physics 2, electricity, and magnetism. The goal of this video is to train you to make sure that you know your prefixes, specifically milla, micro, nano, even pico maybe. You don't really get lower than that. So first let's talk about the prefixes and I'm going to use it with meters, although remember that everything I'm doing right now you can do with grams, you can do with farads, which is a capacitance. You can do it with coulombs, which is a charge. You can do it with anything. So what I'm saying is we're starting with meters, which is M. If you want to go down one level, then we would go to the milli level, which is millimeters, MM, and that is 10 to the minus third power. You can therefore think of meters as our base one. Then when you go another level down, the next level is micrometers, and that uses Greek letter mu mu micrometers micro m that will be 10 to the minus 6 power below that you have the nano level that's nanometers like this and m that's going to be 10 to the minus 9th and again you can go even lower than that to pico and femto however i don't think you're going to see that in any of your classes so i'm not going to bother and then the only other thing i want to make sure i cover is you can have centimeters as well that's going to be cm and it's somewhere in between 1 and 10 to the minus third it's the only one like this and that's going to be 10 to the minus second or you can also think of it as dividing by a hundred that will work as well as a matter of fact milla you can also think of as dividing by a thousand and technically the same is true for micro and nano you can divide it by some number but once you get to micro and nano levels it's easier just to write it in scientific notation like this and that's it for the getting smaller ranges. In other words, as you go down this list, you're getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Now let's talk real quick about what it's like to get bigger. So the first one we can say is the kilo. That would be km kilometers. And that would be 10 to the positive third power. Notice that as we get bigger, everything's going to be a positive power of 10. After that, we have mega, which would be capital M. And you never really see it with meters, but you technically can have this mega meters, which sounds funny. And that would be 10 to the sixth power. And after that, you have giga, which is capital G. And then again, meters in this case. And that would be 10 to the positive ninth. And once again, we really don't get bigger than that in this class. And the reason why we don't see that is because in electricity and magnetism, everything we're dealing with is like the size of like atoms. So everything's extremely small. And one more time, this meters here, that can be any unit. That can be grams, that can be farads for capacitance when we get there. It can be coulombs, which are units of charge. It can be newtons, which are units of force. It can be anything. So with that in mind, let's do some examples of how we would convert. And I'm gonna show you some examples on how to do it on our calculator. So let's say the first one here, let's say I have 552 grams and I want to convert that to kilograms because that's the SI unit for mass. It's kilograms, not grams. So how would I convert that? Well, there's two ways you can do it. The first way, and this is the way that I would do it, if I want to go from grams to kilograms, I know I need to divide by a thousand. Why is that? Because it's dimensional analysis. And dimensional analysis is a skill that looks like this. You say 552 grams, G, times there are 1,000 grams in one kilogram. And notice I wrote grams in the denominator so it can cancel out kilograms in the numerator, just dividing by 1,000 here. You don't even really need a calculator for this. It's 0.552 kilograms. And that's how you convert that way. The other way you can do it if you want to go to kilograms is you would pretty much do the same thing, dimensional analysis, 552 grams. And then instead of dividing by 1,000, you can say there are 10 to the third grams in one kilogram. That's using the scientific notation we talked about above. And you, you'd get the same answer, 0.552 kilograms. Okay, now let's do a different example. Let's say I have 0 0.000032 meters, and I want to convert that to micrometers. How would I do that? So for this one, I'm starting with 0 0.000032 meters, which if I want to write this in scientific notation, I could say this is 3.2 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places over, and it's going to be the negative power because I'm moving it to the right. 
So 3.2 times 10 to the minus fifth meters. That's another way of writing it. And then times the conversion factor. I am saying there are 10 to the negative sixth meters in one micrometer. And this makes sense because remember that negative powers are gonna make this number smaller and micrometers are smaller than meters. So that makes logical sense. So when I plug this in my calculator, here's what I'm gonna type. The 3.2 times 10 to the minus fifth that can be written on my calculator as 3.2 e negative 5. Now you probably have a capital E button somewhere on your calculator. For my TI-84, it's located right here. If I hit second and then comma, I see that little E number. And that's just the scientific notation. If you don't have that button, you can do it the long way. You'll write 10 caret negative 5, and that's fine too. But since the E button is faster, I'm going to type 3.2 e negative 5 and then divided by 10 e negative 6 and with that we get an answer of 3.2 which is the wrong answer why would i give you the wrong answer it's because i made a very common mistake that you will probably make one day as well when i have 10 to the minus 6 power here that is not 10 e negative 6 because if that were true what you're saying is 10 times 10 to the negative 6, which is not what I want. I want 1 times 10 to the minus 6. So in other words, if I were to change what I had above, I just need to say instead of 10 e negative 6, I need to say 1 e negative 6, because remember the e means times 10 to that power. So in other words, whenever you just have the number 10 raised to some power, in your calculator, you're going to type 1 e that power. Hit enter, there's the real final answer, it's 32. And that's micrometers, final answer. So what I'm saying is this is wrong, don't write 10 e negative six, unless you have 10 times 10 to the negative six, which is unlikely. Now, as we go through these examples today, I promise you the biggest mistake that you're gonna make is not knowing whether to put that 10 to the minus six in the numerator or the denominator. But here's the secret, and I wanna look back at the two examples we just did. For this example, where did I put the 10 to the minus sixth? I put it with the base unit meters. For the last example, where did I put the 10 cubed to go to kilograms? I put it with the base unit, grams. In other words, if you wanna use this chart that we just wrote, this very nice chart right here, you need to put the power with the normal base unit. So here's a more concrete example of what I'm saying. When you're multiplying by these conversion factors, if you have something like 10 to the third milligrams, 10 to the negative third milligrams in one gram, this is wrong because you gotta put the 10 to the minus third with your base unit. It should look like this, one milligram in 10 to the minus third grams. And if I were you, I would even write one times 10 to the minus three, so you don't make that mistake in your calculator with the E button. So let's do one more of these easy examples, and then we'll look at a, a harder example. So let's say I have 50 nanofarads, NF, which again, farads is a unit of capacitance, which we'll be learning one day. And let's say I want to convert that to just farads, the base unit. How would I do that? Again, I start with 50 nanofarads, then I'm going to multiply this by the conversion factor. In this case, I want nanofarads on the bottom and farads on top so that the units will cancel. And then I ask myself, which one gets the 10 to the minus ninth power? Because that's what nano is, 10 to the minus ninth power. Is it the numerator or the denominator? The answer is it's the numerator. Again, because you always put that on the base unit, which is F in this case. And I'll also write a one here, which then begs the question, what goes in the denominator? Always one. So if one of them gets the 10 to the minus ninth, the other one just gets one. And again, plugging in my calculator, it's going to look like this. I'm going to type 50 times one second e negative nine, that's saying times 10 to the minus ninth power, hit enter, and I get my answer, five times 10 to the minus eighth, and that's now normal farads. And that's all it is, easy peasy. So then we can look at something harder. Like for instance, what if I start with 0 0.07 centimeters, and I wanna convert that to micrometers? Notice neither of these have the base unit. In these cases, what I like to do is, I like to first convert to my base unit, and then I'll convert to micrometers. So here's what it's gonna look like. 
I'm gonna say 0 0.07 centimeters times the conversion factor. I always like to write it like this, 100 centimeters in one meter. But again, you could also write 10 to the minus second power meters in one centimeter. This would work as well using the base unit method, but personally, I like this more, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, so that will get me to meters. Now I need to go from meters to micrometers. So again, another conversion factor with dimensional analysis. And this time meters is gonna be on the bottom and micrometers will be up top. And I think where does the 10 to the minus six power go? It's gonna go with the base unit. So here I'm gonna write one times 10 to the minus sixth and in the numerator, just one. And then when I plug this in my calculator, it's gonna be 0 0.07 divided by 100, also divided by one second E negative six, enter, I get an answer of 700 micrometers. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's just do one more example of this. What if I have 1000 kilograms and I wanna convert that to milligrams? How would I do it? Once again, I'm gonna to go to my base unit first and then I'm gonna to go to milla. So in other words, I'm starting with 1000 kilograms, multiply that with kilograms in the denominator and grams up top. I know it's one times 10 to the third grams in one kilogram, again, the 10 to the third going with the base unit, G. And then I need to multiply by the second conversion factor, which would be grams in the denominator and milligrams on top. And for that, it's the opposite. It's one times 10 to the minus three with one milligram in the numerator. And if you're wondering, do these two things cancel out? The answer is no, because this is the positive three power and that's the negative three power. So they will not cancel out, unfortunately. But this is easy, once again. All I'm gonna do is type in 1000 times one E three divided by one E negative three, hit enter. And I get a ridiculously big number. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this looks ridiculous. So I'm gonna write this in scientific notation. And the way I do that is I start at here, the, the last decimal point, and I just count the number of zeros I'm moving over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is gonna be one times 10 to the ninth power. And again, that's milligrams. So there's our answer. Once I get to the answer, by the way, now I'm okay with dropping this one because I'm not plugging it in the calculator anymore. And then I would just write that. Make sense? Okay, great. So that's just a little practice to help you in physics too when you're converting between units. Please feel free to refer back to this video whenever you're doing some difficult conversions and you forget exactly what to do. Hopefully this helps you out. Thank you all for watching. My name is Dan the Tutor and have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.